Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Hutchie shortly with Jade Rawling, the coach of the Richmond Football Club. But Bill, Friday night, 85,000 people saw the Pies and the Blues. They did indeed, and we must welcome our special guest, Simon Prestigiacoma, who was a star and has been a star all year and certainly should be in the All-Australian yeah, team. Stop holding my arm, Presty. Stop holding my arm. Jeez. <laughs> Some gold there from Nathan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, it was a fantastic game. Great. Well, it wasn't because it was set up for a fantastic game. Great conditions, big crowd, but the skill level was just terrible. As we have a look at the scores here, Carlton only kicked four goals for the night. 16 points. Collingwood were great, 14-10-94. Uh, Eddie Betts kicked two. Leon Davis was great. Beams, has he a fine? He's been fantastic. Travis Cloak was also good. Scott Lynn had 32 and Dane Swan was very good. And this is the uh, super coach points here. Thornton, Murphy, Bauer for Carlton for Collingwood. Shaw, Swan, Penelbury, Cloak and Leon. But uh, Simon, it was all set up for a great game as I said. Big crowd, but the skills early, mate, were just terrible. Um, yeah, they were. I don't, I don't know what we can put it down to. It wasn't really too windy or anything like that, and I suppose it was just a bit of, bit of pressure and probably a lot of in close and, and that sort of thing. So yeah, there was no, no real reason why I suppose the, the school levels were down. Yeah, big Presty, a couple of things. Firstly, when we told Tomo that you were coming on, he curled up in the corner and started <laughs> sucking his thumb. Fetal. I think ten years. How many goals do you kick on, big Presty? Uh, one. One. <laughs> but secondly, I had a letter sent to me by a lovely lady, I'm not sure where she was from, uh, very concerned about the way that we in the media pronounce your surname. She said, you, Jim, and your mate Gary should know better as professional hosts and commentators. It's not Prestigiacomo. She said it's Prestigiacomo. Now, is she right? Um, yeah, I think the actual Italian um, probably pronunciation is Prestigiacomo. So, but... Oh. We sort of press the geocamo. You're not fussed yeah, with press the geocamo. Probably change, probably change every every sort of week. And <laughs> when I first sort of started playing, but yeah, I think everyone's settled on press well, the geocamo. If you're happy with that, then I yeah, am I'm, too. I'm Bill, what happened in this game? Well, the Maggie started beautifully there in front of the big crowd, and it was Jackson with an S Barham kicking the first goal here, running on, and it was important, I suppose, uh, Presty, to to start well in front of a big crowd and just really lay it down the the Palton side. Um, yeah, well, we, we obviously came off the loss last week and wanted to come out running, and, and Carlton probably had the wood over us the last few week, few, um, few years. Um, so, yeah, we, we made a bit of a focus to come out and put that sort of pressure on. So. Yeah, Carlton have beat you the last three times, Nate, so uh, that's why it was a very important to start well. Yeah, yeah Preston, it must be great. You're skipping Nick Maxwell in career-best form, cutting back and also helping out the other defenders. You mm. seem like a tight unit back there in the uh, defensive six. Um, yeah, we've probably had, a, I suppose, a key seven or eight players that have rotated through the, the defensive area. And we, we know each other's weakness and strengths and things like that. And as you said, we've had Maxi and, and Heath Shaw sort of floating across and managing to get in, in front of, uh, I suppose, the key forward and, and managed to help me out a fair bit. And also Harry O'Gordon, oh. as Bill calls him, but Harry O'Brien, uh, he's having a terrific year also. He is, yeah. He can, he can play tall, he can play on the, on the short, so obviously he played on bets on the weekend. and. And um, last week sort of had the feeling on, on Buddy a bit, so he, as I said, he can play tall and short, which is great. Here's Leon just uh, providing a bit of magic. He was fantastic. That was about the highlight of the second quarter. It was a terrible quarter. Carlton just looked uh, flat. There was no effort, no intensity, which really Brett Ratton would have been disappointed. Right. They Luke. just had nothing there. And Fev hurt his ankle. Were you aware of him hurting his ankle? And he just seemed to drop the head there for a while. Um, yeah, I saw he sort of ran into the goal umpire or something like that, and I saw him hobbling around a bit, which is... I was pretty happy about it at the time, but um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't actually seen the replay or anything. I don't really know what happened. How do you tackle a guy like Fev? Does he yap when he's out there, or um, does he just go about his business? No, he, sometimes he does. I suppose I get asked that a lot, and not a lot of players say too much. I suppose it's more maybe the peripherals or the, the little forwards that like to get in your face when you've had a few <laughs> kicked on you, but yeah, like, and it's probably been reported that I don't say much as well, so maybe they just don't speak to me and they think I won't get, they won't get a response. <laughs> People like this man over here, very short in stature, have a, have a, tro a bit of trouble with the uh, verbal diarrhoea, Presty? Yeah, that's right, as I said, they, they don't mind a chat and getting <laughs> yeah. in your face to, just to annoy you. 27 points at half-time and uh, Carlton had to do something in, this, in the third quarter, which they really didn't. Again, it was a poor quarter of footy uh, for the big crowd. They, there's a lot of mistakes, actually. Carlton conceded eight goals from turnovers. They just kept turning it over, and Brett Ratner would have been happy at all there. There's Bentley kicking one through. There was only two goals kicked in this in this quarter. The other one was to uh, Dane Beams, who's certainly fine. He's just come from nowhere, and a run, good runner, and kicks goals for you, Presty. 
Yeah, no, he's done he's done really well. He sort of came came in and, and probably had that impact straight away. So he's been doing a lot of work with players like Shane O'Brien and, and Scott Pendlebury, and, and yeah, they're pretty good uh, guys to learn off. So he's done great. A uh, big job for Cameron Wood uh, taking the number one ruck role. Uh, Presty Josh Fazer's out with that posterior problem. Uh, I thought that was one of his better games of AFL footy. Yeah, no, he's, he's done he's done well to come in, and, and I suppose that's what you need from from Woody and, and maybe Chris Bryan. So, as you said, Josh is out for a, for a few weeks, and um, I suppose it's a chance for Woody and as I see Chris Bryan to, to maybe step up and then hopefully fill a role for us. This is the last quarter here. Collingwood kicked six goals, just uh, blew uh, Carlton away here, but there was one goal kicked by Carlton, and here it is. Here he got away oh, from you. What no. happened there, Prest? Um, yeah, just. Got away from me, so Billy, <laughs> when he, when he kicked it, I thought he might have sprayed it a bit because it went pretty high, and unfortunately, yeah, it Billy, don't it. don't tell me that's cost Presty some votes. Yep, oh. that, that's in eight quarters that uh, Fever's played on Presty. That's the only goal he has kicked. So what a good effort there by Presty, but it was all over here. They ran away from it. Actually, the lack of pressure by Carlton, Collingwood on Friday night had an AFL record of 70, 73 bounces. 73 bounces. That is just no pressure from Carlton. No intensity. They'd be very disappointed with that. The supporters were. They got on the phone straight away after the game. Collingwood now won 8-9, and nine, fourth on the ladder. Just going beautifully. The coach, very happy with the coach there, uh, Presty? Um, yeah, he's going, going well, so we, we won't get into any of the other stuff that's been going on. But, yeah, very happy with him at the moment. Speaking of uh, contracts, uh, Jim, uh, Presty, uh, you signed up for next year, and uh, I believe James might want to have a chat to you. Um, no, not as yet, but I'm, I'm oh, sure I'm oh, 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 getting old now, you. so that not many people yeah. recruit he got old, no, old guys anymore. So. Needs an answer by next Wednesday, <laughs> so you've got to tell him by Wednesday. Let me tell you this, Presty, what I am enjoying is the fact that I'm a huge fan of the big defenders. I don't think you get anywhere near enough credit. I reckon now in the AFL, people are starting to understand how important the big defenders are. You've been unbelievably good this year. I think Shane said All-Australian. I agree with him. Brian Lake's been sensational. Scarlett's had five years of uh, been yeah. amazing. Ben Rutten, Darren Glass, Dan Merritt. You're starting to get a cluster of high-quality fullbacks in the competition. Um, yeah, I suppose, well, there's always going to be the big big key forwards. You're going to need someone to play on them, so I suppose that's, that's good for us backs. And but it's you're starting keep to us... get respect for what you do. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why or, or anything like that. I suppose maybe the the guys that it's sort of a different game where they're getting more possessions, like as you mentioned, Brian Lake and Scarlett get a yep. fair bit of the ball. Um, so maybe that puts them in the in the spotlight a bit more. But hopefully, yeah, there'll be a be a role for the key backs for it. There will be. Don't worry about that. Votes. Well, here they are. Just couldn't fit Presty in. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know he was coming one on. Goal. Leon Davis was a star. Benny Johnson did a fantastic job on Chris Judd. Nick Maxwell loved his work, just floating back and punching the ball away. You must love him down there. And Heathy Shaw, it could have been Dane Swan, could have been Simon sure. Pritchett, Jamakamo. <laughs> but it could have been any of those boys, let me tell you. The month ahead, Carlton, uh, North Melbourne, they take on the Cats, Port Adelaide and Melbourne and Collingwood. Oh, you've got big Jonathan Brown next week. Uh, Presty, Adelaide, Richmond and Sydney The next Swans. two weeks there to shape the top four, boys. Brisbane Lions, Adelaide, uh, tough assignments, Presty. Yeah, as you said, we're all sort of floating on around the, the same sort of mark and, and um, yeah, this, this game was pretty big for us. I think if Carlton had beaten us, they would have gone on top, so it's probably the same again with Brisbane. So, just, I suppose all we can do is just keep trying to win. Do you get Brownie Presty? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, most of the time. And how's that go? Yeah, I'm getting ready to run a fair bit, so <laughs> it should be um, yeah, another good battle, I hope. Good on you, Presty. You're not only having a great uh, season, but you've had a wonderful career, and it's great to see you coming in on the Sunday Footy Show. Thanks for having me, guys. Simon so right. Presty, Giacomo, we're going to take a break.